Java variables. This is the demo page we will be using for automation. How will I save this values? Just consider this particular box as a parking slot and these two variable as two cars. A variable is the name given to the memory location. To declare the variables, first we have to mention the data type, the variable name equal to symbol. We are assigning the particular value. Hello everyone. Welcome to Next Gen AI Academy. In this video, we are going to learn about Java variables. As we discussed earlier, first we will try to understand why we are learning this concept and then how to implement it. Let me show you exactly where it is used in the automation project. This is the demo page we will be using for automation. In this screen, you can see so many fields like first name, last name, email ID, mobile number and so on. Let's imagine you want to automate this page that is to fill the form for 10 members automatically. For that, first we have to identify the object that is the location of this object in the web page that we will be learning it in the selenium. The next step is we have to enter the respective values in the field. For example, first name we know, last name R. Like that, for the first user, we will be filling it. Then, once we submit the form, then the automation script will move for the next user, Anand, A. Like that, it will keep on submitting the forms one by one. So what we have understood here is the values of the each field keeps on changes. Keep that in mind. Now a question strike. How will I save these values? There comes the concept of variables. The same example. Let's see with technical terminology. In this example, we took two variables, variable one and a variable two and the fields in the web pages first name then last name two variables and this is called field which we know it's a fixed one and then each field will have its own value and this is a dynamic one for the first user we know the r then the second user on and a and same way this will keep on changing. What exactly happens in the backend? We have something called RAM that is random access memory. Now just consider this particular box as a parking slot and these two variable as two cars. So when you consider a flat system, Every flat will have its own parking slot. Am I right? So let's put that one parking slot for the first name and the parking slot for the last name. So what we can understand from this here. In simple term, in this parking area only, the first name house can park by car or whatever they want. Same way, last name parking slot they will park their own value it means every individual house will have its own parking slot that we call in the technical terminology as memory location so what will happen in every memory location the respective values will be updated first name we know it will be saved and last name r will be saved for the second user, the Vinod will be replaced by Anand and R will be replaced by his own initial. Same way for each individual user, respective values will change us, but field remains the same. And this we call it as variable. So a variable is a name given to the memory location. This is how happens in the backend of the Java program. Hope you understood the concept of Java variables. 
Now we'll see how to implement in a programmatic way. First open the Eclipse IDE. In the previous video, we already learned how to create the Java project package and then Java class. Now above the respective Java package, right click and click on class. You will get new class window. Here type the class name. The class name must start with capital letter. If you put small letter, it will throw you the warning. So make sure here you are entering a proper name. For self understanding, I will give variable and check the public static void main. Click on finish. Variable classes created. In order to declare a variable, the syntax for that is data type variable name equal to value here we have seen what is a variable name and value but i am introducing a new terminology called data type actually we are saying to the computer i am sending a value of this particular data type we will discuss about data type in upcoming videos for time being you just understand it is a type of a particular value like number string and so on and it's a string data type and we have to give the variable name that is first name in order to assign the value we have to use equal to symbol and for saving a string value we have to give within the double quotes we know it and a semicolon remember always any line in the java ends with the semicolon if you are not giving this you will get the warning error insert semicolon keep this in mind and for naming a variable we have certain rules this is a lower camel case that is also we will be seeing in the next video same way just pause this video and guess how you will name for last name okay it's a data type is string data type then last name equal to capital r semicolon and same way let's take another example if it's a mobile number mobile number is an integer number for that int mobile in um number equal to some particular value this is how we will be declaring the variable values in this example the values are hard coded but in the automation program we will be passing these values from the external source like excel sheet or database a short recap a variable is the name given to the memory location to declare the variables first we have to mention the data type then the variable name here it is called field equal to symbol we are assigning the particular value hope you got a very clear picture about variable that's the end of this video thanks for watching have a good day